on this episode of Mitsu Gun. What's going on, guys? So I am in the process of where did the keys go. Did I leave them inside? I gotta go get the keys again. All right, guys. I am in the process of. going to pick up the 2G. He is very excited. I'm excited too. Let's go see what this 2G is all about. So basically, getting to the car, them telling me everything that they did, um, had to bring my battery over because the battery was dead. Um, everything seemed to check out when they were talking about everything as far as the motor, the parts, the pieces, everything to make the car run. Everything seemed to check out. Um, they were mentioning the oil stuff, but that was about it. There you go, almost yours, man. Diego, look at this. I am in your car. Feels good. Has a squeaky belt. I think it's a serpentine belt or something like that that he said that you probably have to change, but that's no problem. You can handle that. Um, they said to watch for the oil light because that goes up, but it'll go away after a while. Um, you know, getting through the kinks, but hey, I'm driving it. I'm driving the car, dude. It's not getting hot. Okay, so taking it on a test drive, everything as well seemed to check out besides the oil light that was on. Um, I was excited. Um, I just was glad I didn't have to do all this extra work just to try to get this car running, um, considering all the extra parts that I had had laying around. Um, as you can see from my face, I'm excited for Diego to get his 3G, or his 2G, I mean. And, um, Everything seemed to check out um, through and through when I drove it, other than those little issues, but that was about it. Look at that. Just doing this for perspective, bruh. Get in your car. Let's not talk about you. Get in your car. To you. about 15 minutes away from your job <clears throat> so there's a couple things that uh, you're gonna probably have to touch up on later on in this car um, fourth kind of crunches when it goes in there I'm not sure if that's a, a um, shifter cable issue or something but it def um, I, I'm not sure or are you a user error I'm not pressing my foot all the way down in the clutch or something like that but it's not really an issue doesn't prevent the car from running bad um, at all other thing probably gonna have to fix this heater because it's cold as hell in here <laughs> uh, and it's just running on uh, running on ice so you're probably gonna have to fix that um, another thing ride uh, there's not really much issues um, other than those couple things oh the oil light you already know about um, 
they said they keep checking the oil, but um, it hasn't, from what I've seen, it hasn't really been getting hot or anything. And he said that they that they ran it, I think they ran it uh, over an hour last night, and there was no leaks. So there's no oil leak at all. So he said just keep checking the oil, even though the oil lights on. I'm not sure how far that's going. But it hasn't overheated at all. Uh, there's a deck in here. That's trash. That was, that was, that was the previous owners. Uh, you're probably going to switch that out, out anyways. I do have a bezel for this if you need it. Uh, I'll probably give that to you when I give you the fender. Uh, the sunroof is, is, looks cool or whatever. Nothing else, nothing, yeah, nothing else is really going on. It's a smooth ride. But I just wanted to tell you those things because I just discovered them. Um, I'm probably going to tell you them when I see you um, in 15 minutes. Um, but I'm just documenting it, documenting it for my next, for the next video for everybody to see. So. I'll see you in a little bit, and I know you're excited, man. After coming from a, uh, a cruise and uh, going to a stop, the, uh, the belt stops squeaking. So when your foot is on the clutch, uh, it stops squeaking. So I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, so there's a little bit of issues. Not bad, not bad. Here you go. All right, so the meetup happened. Um, I drove it all the way to his job. Um, I parked it in the back of his work and uh, he met me out there and I just explained to him all of the work um, that they did, all of the parts and pieces that I have provided for them to do. Um, the uh basically everything just explaining to him what they were telling me when i had went to go pick it up basically um i had, had told him that i had given him my battery from my vr4 which is a brand new battery um as well as many of the other things that they were saying about the car at that state when i had picked it up from them um a couple weeks after I had provided the parts um, I tried to go down the list of everything that they had told me about what was going on with the car with the oil and everything and I uh, even gave him the paperwork when I uh, met up with him that day after all that he said he liked it he was excited and everything I was excited the deal was done um, from here I thought everything would be peaches and cream as they say and he would be able to just drive the car no problem we'll do whatever he needs to do it's out of my hands um the deal is done There you go, there it goes. Thank you. Diego, round two. With the motor that we got in the transmission. Let's pray that this one is a lot better. Not getting hot at all. Everything 
Everything's looking a lot better. And we'll see. We'll test drive it a little bit later on today. Let's take the car for a test drive, guys. Shifting smooth, no issues. Okay. Coming to the stop, going into first. First is okay. to be driving fine. It's not overheating. seem to be doing any uh, having any issues seems to be driving pretty fine Right guys, so we test drove 
the Eclipse for Diego and it's looking like it's promising put a new clutch in as well <laughs> Diego the motor that <laughs> we use was um, we had to take that apart so I'm gonna be taking that motor back and getting my money back but test drove the car they went over it they redid everything with all the miscellaneous pieces that we had we had about three motors um, two transmissions three three heads two blocks three uh, yeah so I believe they um, they took the best pieces out of all of them and they, they made it into yours which going into driving the car going through all the gears um, we talked about it in the grinding from third to fourth which did not happen again coming back towards the shop was due to, is probably due to new clutch and or whatever um, you have an XCD stage 2 I think that's the one that you uh, wanted and you have that in your car um, I didn't beat on it because I didn't want I just I just didn't want to even try doing all that but it checks out so I'll be picking up the Eclipse later on today and then you will be having your car man I'm gonna probably give you a call and hopefully we can drop it off to you today there it is guys you got the Eclipse right there it's getting picked up he seems pretty happy film him go and get an external view of it, what it looks like. guys I'm saying goodbye to the Eclipse the deal is done test out yeah. he's excited I'm excited it's been a long journey I forgot it had a sunroof when you put it up I was like oh shoot it has a sunroof on here <laughs> well yeah I'm glad we were able to get this situated and he is excited it feels good Brand new clutch. There we go, guys. This concludes the, the eclipse in the trade. Tune in next time. Mitsu guy.